Oxford Reading Tree Biff, Chip and Kipper Stories Level 8 Written by Roderick Hunt Illustrated by Alex Brichter Series created by Roderick Hunt and Alex Brichter Published by Oxford University Press 2011 Hi everyone! This is Miss Tom. Let's finish reading Pocket Money. Previously, Biff, Chip and Kippa played in the sea. They took turns to sit in the dinghy. Afterwards, Dad took them for a walk. Biff began to look for fossils. They came to a little rocky cove. Some people were taking photos of a model for a magazine. Biff looked at the model. Chip looked at the cameras. Kippa wanted to look for the fossils. It was time for lunch, so they went back to find Mom. After lunch, Biff and Chip went with Mom to the little cove. Biff spotted a camera. The photographer left behind. The tide was coming in, and the camera would soon be underwater. Biff had an idea. She thought she could paddle the dinghy across the cove and rescue the camera. What would Dad think of the idea? Biff ran to ask Dad. When he saw the camera, he agreed to let Biff rescue it in the dinghy. Just be careful, Biff, called Mom. It's all right, said Biff. But look at the camera. It's going to be underwater any second. The whole family came to support Biff. Biff put on the arm floats, just in case. She paddled really hard. Because the camera was going to be underwater any second. Any second means very soon. Would Biff be fast enough? Biff got to the camera just in time. She put it in a plastic bag. And Dad pulled the dinghy safely back. Said Kippa, the camera is safe. Biff to the rescue, <laughs> laughed Biff. <laughs> well done, Biff. That was a fantastic rescue mission. She spotted the camera, came up with an idea, got the support from Mom and Dad, protected herself, and paddled fast to get to the camera just in time. She even put the camera in a plastic bag to protect it from sand and water. How thoughtful! At that moment, the photographer ran up. Oh, have you seen the camera? She gasped. I left one behind in the cove. Biff held up the plastic bag. Here it is, she said. I've just rescued it in the dinghy. If Biff didn't rescue the camera, where would the camera have been? In the water 
waiting slowly to turn into a fossil. <coughs> What do you think the photographer felt when she saw her camera? Ah, <sighs> right. Where did Biff put the camera? She put it in a plastic bag. The photographer was pleased. <coughs> Cameras like these are expensive, she said. I'm so glad to get it back. She took a photograph of everyone to say thank you. Will we be in a magazine? <coughs> Asked Kipa. What a nice photograph! Even Floppy looked at the camera and smiled. Do you like the photographer's way to say thank you? I like it. Do you think this picture should be in a magazine? I think it should. I suppose Kipper would mind the rabbit ears. Chip gave him. Then the photographer wanted to give Biff some money. It's a reward for saving my camera, she said. Biff said she couldn't take the money. I'm just pleased you got your camera back safely, she said. How much money did the photographer give Biff? Twenty pounds. A camera might cost ten times as much. By rescuing the camera, Biff helped the photographer save a lot of money. I bet it was enough money for Biff to buy the amazing fossil from the shop. But why didn't she take the money? Would you have taken the money? <coughs> Kipper was cross with Biff. <coughs> why didn't you take that money? <coughs> He asked. I would have. Chip looked thoughtful. I'm not sure what I would have done. He said. Why was Kipper cross with Biff for not taking the money? He probably thought that Biff was silly not to take it. She helped the photographer, and the photographer wanted to reward her. Why not? Chip wasn't sure. He felt Biff was right, but he also thought. Kipa was not wrong. What do you think? Do you think Biff did the right thing, or not? Why was Kipa cross with Biff? He thought Biff should have taken the reward money. Dad smiled at Biff. I'm very proud of you, Biff, he said. I think you were right not to take the money. <coughs> Agreed, Mom. If you do someone a good turn, you shouldn't expect to get a reward. Both Mom and Dad thought Biff did the right thing. 我们做好事，不应该期待有回报的，对不对 ？The point of rescuing the camera was not to earn reward money, but to help someone. <coughs> you feel good when you do someone a good turn. That good feeling is a reward already. The next day, Dad gave Biff, Chip, and Kipper 
some extra pocket money. May we do what we like with it? Asked Chip. Of course you can, said Dad. Then we'll give it to Biff, said Kipper. So Biff bought the fossil she wanted so badly. <laughs> Why do you think Chip and Kipper gave their extra pocket money to Biff? I think they felt it was the right thing to do. Biff helped them do their jobs. What did Chip and Kippa feel when Biff used the money to buy the fossil? They felt good too. All right, that's the whole story. Hope you like it. Goodbye. 本节目由喜马拉雅出品。